G'day folks. I've got the little electrolysis system hooked up again and refilled with fresh electrolyte. Made some new uh, sacrificial anodes out of the uh, perforated sheet metal scrap that I've got. got the Morris 1100 manifold in there at the moment. I know it's still got the carby riser and everything on it, but it'll be fine. I don't have the uh, cooling pump installed yet because it's still winter time. There's no need for it. So this will remain off filter's good. I'm actually blowing liquid back through the system and it does hold its pressure pretty well. So brand new anodes, new electrolyte and a good workpiece so turn the power on. Immediate work. Very good. I've got to set up an overhead gantry again so that I can actually hang work pieces from it in the centre of the tank rather than having to lean them up against one end. This one here will require turning around after a few hours. That's working very well though. I just want to knock all the loose rust off it. Nothing too serious and then I'll hit it with the uh, 1500 degree header paint. well. It's 24 volts at roughly I think about 18 amps peak current and with fresh new anodes in it that will be pulling almost maximum current. The fans are singing along nicely, it's not really bogging down and overloading. The fans tend to slow down or stall if it's pulling too much current. It gives a good audible warning, you know if the fans aren't running you're pulling too much juice. I'm going to let this thing run for a good few hours and Top around and I'll give it a clean up and show you what it looks like. Oh, I haven't been able to find sodium carbonate either. I know you can bake this stuff in the oven but I didn't have time to do it today. This is sodium bicarbonate and it works just as well. I think I've used about 350 grams. Still a bit in there. I could probably get away with pouring the rest in there but for now it'll do. The solution's strong enough. It's been a few hours now, or maybe two at the most. Should be plenty for this job. Fresh anodes and fresh solution that should work very quickly. There's a good film built up on the surface of the tank. A lot of hydrogen bubbles. This is where you got to watch the sparks from grinding because each one of those bubbles can detonate quite violently and the whole surface will just blow up. Cover this whole area in brown sludge. But that should be just about done. Gone nice and black. I'll pull that out soon. Already getting a fair bit of heat into it too. It's pretty surprising for winter, but then I've got a lot of surface area and a ton of current going through it. Let's whip this thing out. Well, this is the manifold after about two, maybe two and a half hours of electrolysis. It hasn't gotten every scrap of muck off it, but it's taken all the loose rust scale off. Very light scrub obviously, you have to rub them down with a bit of scotch brite afterwards. But it's well and truly ready for painting after a good bake in the oven. Only thing is it doesn't get right down inside the uh, tubes. So it's good for dressing them up but I wouldn't recommend it for actually cleaning the insides out unless you actually create anodes to go down inside with insulation on them to protect them from shorting out. But it can be done. But that's come up pretty good. The iron's already oxidised because it, that's just what it does. As soon as you expose it to air it starts rusting. And you've got to bake this sort of stuff in a uh, oven about 50-60 degrees for a couple of hours. Drive off any hydrogen that's gotten into it because we don't want to tighten it down and find the uh, flanges snap off from hydrogen embrittlement. It's not fun. But apart from that, it's a nice little uh, casting to paint up. I'll start baking that and I'll paint it later on. Thanks for watching folks.